Yo, what is up, guys? It's Pedro here, and the Cowboys just signed former Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. I know this is a different kind of video, but it's in the division, and I wanted uh, to address it because it is important. So like I said, uh, the Cowboys signed former Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton for a one-year deal worth up to $7 million. That includes $3 million guaranteed with the Cowboys this season so i think this really is just an insurance policy of course if that gets hurt but in the uh, small percent chance that he does not report and they can't uh, agree to a contract andy dalton is more than uh capable of leading to a team leading a team to the playoffs of course Dak is better but andy dalton has had a few good years uh in cincinnati yes uh, he's the last couple years hasn't really played that well, but I think this isn't a bad move for the Cowboys because it's very cheap. It doesn't affect their cap space a lot, but it is a little out of the blue and a little questionable, but let's look at his stats. Also guys, I posted uh, a highlight tape of one of my brother's friends, so go check him out. Uh, it's in the description, but in 2019, uh, he played in 13 games, started uh, or started 13 games and had um, 16 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. So last year did not have a good year. But if you look at the weapons around him, A.J. Green wasn't playing, and their first-round pick, Jonah Williams, didn't play at all. So their offensive line was terrible, uh, and their receiving uh, their receiving threats weren't that great besides Tyler Boyd and a couple other pieces. Um, the year before, he played a bit better, 21 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. And then the, like for like a solid three years, he played pretty good with 25 and 7, 18 and 8, and 25 and 12. So not bad. And obviously, if he is in fact a backup, which I do think he will be, he will be by far the best backup in the league. And who knows? Maybe um, I doubt this happens, but maybe if he's playing super good, they can end up flipping him for a fourth round pick. If you guys are Cowboys fans, I think this was not a bad move at all. He's like I said. He's taken teams to the playoffs before. If you look at his record from 2012 to 2015, that's about four years straight of him winning 10 games or more. So he's played good uh, before, had 33 touchdowns in 2013, did also have 20 picks. But I think this is a solid signing by the Cowboys. Obviously, it's nothing big because you don't want Dak Prescott, if you, at least if you're the Cowboys, to miss some games. So you're not counting on... Andy Dalton to play, but if he, uh, Dak Prescott does get hurt or if he does not sign his contract, then it is a good signing because Andy Dalton, if let's say Dak uh, gets hurt midway through the season and comes is can come back for the playoffs, I think Andy Dalton can get them there if Dak put them in the position to do that. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Redskins fans and Cowboys fans, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think even though I'm a Redskins fan, I think this is not a bad signing. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, uh, uh, Andy Dalton's going to start. No, he's not. Andy Dalton's a good quarterback, but Dak Prescott is a lot better than Andy Dalton. And um, the only problem is the contract. And I think that will get situated, but I, I really, really don't know if it will, I, I think there's a still like an 80% chance he signs a contract before the season starts. But if he does not uh, end up doing that, they will have someone who's more than capable of getting them at least to maybe eight wins. And if, if he does really well, maybe get them to the playoffs. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this signing. Also, Redskins fans, the 2020 schedule is dropping in a few days or yeah, a few, like a week. So I'm going to be making a video when that happens and I'm going to be making my predictions for the Reds or yeah, making some predictions for our, the year that we have. It's going to be pretty exciting. Let me know what you guys think. And also I already asked uh, what you think about the signing, but if you guys are Redskins fans, what do you think our record will be this year? I think um, it'll be around six to seven wins, maybe more if Haskins plays well. But probably around that six to seven wins if Haskins plays average, which I really hope he does. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please go check out uh, 
the highlight video I made. That is in the description below. And give me ideas on uh, player breakdowns you guys want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.